Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, welcome back to our <coughs> SQL join series. The first join that we are going to talk about today is cross join, which is also called a Cartesian product. So, what do you mean by cross join? So, cross join is used to generate a paired combination of each row of the first table with the each row of the second table. For example, let's see, I have uh, two tables, table number A and table number B. Okay, so let's see table T1 and table T2. In this, I have three uh, rows A, B, and C, and here I'm having one, two, and three. So when you rewrite the cross join, it means I want the output like this that each and every element of a row of the first table will be paired with the each and every row of the second table. So this is like A1, A2, A3, like B1, then B2 and then we have b3 same thing with uh, c1 and c3 like that so it will create a cartesian product this is also what or some people they also call it product okay if someone is asking you what do you mean by cartesian product it means they are talking about cross join now there are various examples okay so let's take some very basic example this is one of the example that we have taken that t1 and t2 but let's take some more practical example in terms of application for example let's say you are uh, going to mcdonald's or any restaurant when you see the menu right the food menu and then you really want to see different combinations so how exactly the restaurant can prepare the different combinations or combos or meal combos for example i have two tables the table number one i would say let's see meals right in this particular table i have three options uh, egg okay simple breakfast that i'm talking about and then we have another table the table number is that um, so drinks is another table and in drinks that I can have juice. So I can create multiple combinations with this, uh, these two tables. It means all different combination. I can have it. I can have my fried egg with the juice also with the tea also and with coffee. Same thing on a very good example that I'll tell you. Let's see the blood group. <coughs> so in blood group, we have two things. One is the blood group. So blood group means let's say i simple say this is my blood group table and then then we have their rh value respective positive and minus rh value so we have different type of uh, four types of blood groups if you uh, know that i simple write a a b and then o and then we have only two values negative and positive positive and negative a a positive a negative b positive b negative like that so i can create a combination like this as well the resultant of what it will be a positive a negative then a b positive and then a b negative then we have b positive b negative and o positive and o negative so i can get this particular result from these uh, two tables like that so let's see this practically first we will create a couple of tables and uh, then we will try to write a cross join query over here so let's see how to do this fine so let's start with the basic one this one a b c and then uh, quickly we will understand that how to write a query so this is the last time i told you that we have to install this one and uh, XAMPP I'm going to create a new database for our practice so let's click on new and uh, click on okay database name is I simple write SQL okay whatever the name that you want to give and you simple click on create to so the SQL YouTube whatever the practice we are going to do everything we will be doing over here I'm going to create a table let's see according to this diagram table number T1 I'm going to create and having a Let's see only one column click on go and the column name you can give any column name whatever the name that you want to give because in the first column we have different letters available over here and uh, letters will be a text type so i'll be selecting a text over here and then you simple save it okay so you can see that okay this table got created with the uh, this letter over here with the text type like that okay and i simply go to sql and if you really want to select query select a star from t1 you hit it right now it's a blank so we don't have anything so you can see it doesn't have anything simple go to sql and what exactly i'm going to do that i simple write insert query now so i write insert into table name is a values and then the first three values we have to write first second i hope you can see it and then the third one and I'll be writing the first value is A, second value is uh, B, and the third value is C over here. Same thing for the T2 table, I'll be writing 
So T2 right now we don't have that. So let's create the first event table and let's see the values got inserted or not. So simple. You can see three rows got inserted over here. And if you really hit the select query, you can directly select from here. See select star and then click on OK. And you will see that in the letter table we have ABC is available. Perfect. Now, the second thing is that I'm going to create another table. So directly I can create a table over here. So for that, I'm already having this query already written. See this particular table, create table numbers. Numbers will be in text and then insert into numbers. And the number will be the number type. You can ignore this one also. That is okay. Value is one, two, three. So instead of creating uh, directly from here, the table, and uh, you directly create with this first table and then insert the value. This is a faster way. Actually, we can uh, do that. I'll give you all the queries and everything for your practice. You don't worry about that. So first thing we have to create the tables. So table got created. Go back to show search query and uh, I simple write select a star from which table from the T2 table or uh, let's see we have given this numbers, right? Okay, let's see numbers table. So instead of T2, I have given numbers. So I simple write and then let's run it. So you can see one, two, three is available. Fine. So how many uh, tables we have? We have a uh, numbers and then T1, two tables are available over here. I would have given T2, but that's okay. Okay. So assume that, okay, this is numbers table. Now, how will you write a query over here? Across join query, very simple, simple, right? Select star from which table from T1 table like this. And then you simple write cross join on which table that table number name is uh, numbers over here. Okay, like that. And when you hit this particular query, let's see what is the output. So the output is coming like that. See, it's giving the combination A1, B1, C1, then A2, B2, C2, A3, B3, C3. This is what I told you, right? A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2, B3, like that. So this is called a Cartesian a product. And then this is called a cross join like that. So always remember like the select a star from T1 cross join where cross join on numbers. You can write a query like that. I'll give you all the queries. Don't worry about that. So very simplest example that we have seen it now. Now what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to create the blood group example. <coughs> the last one that I told you. Okay, this one positive and negative blood group and ABC combination, AB and BO combination, we can use it. So let's see how to do this. So for doing this, I'm all, I have already written the queries with me. So see it over here like that. I'll better give a better name. This is my the table name I would write. Let's see. This is the blood uh, group table. Okay, blood group. And uh, this is what what exactly the group is the column name will be in text and instead of simple write that okay group underscore name okay and this is what their rh value okay i simple write simple table name is rh and i write right and insert into this particular table insert into the second table is rh and simple write ab ab this and positive and negative so first part create the table, insert the values. And then finally, what exactly see I'm going to use it now. I'm using one concat method over here because I don't want two columns. I want only one single column. And then what exactly I'll simple do that. Okay. This is my from first table and from RH table. And I'm going to create one alias over here. See X and Y. So instead of writing this blood group in RH again and again, I can use X and Y. So I simple say from X, it means from blood group, what is the column name that you want. So I simple write, I want this particular group name, right? And from the Y, Y means RH, which column you want? I want RH value. So I simple write Y means RH value. I'll be using it. Okay. And you can remove this order by, we don't need that. And same thing, concat from which table from blood group X and cross join with the second table RH Y. So these are the aliases you can create and you can combine both the columns with concat over here, right? And let's see when you run this particular uh, query, what happens? So let me just simply click on go and see first amazing. See, um, <clears throat> query got at uh, two tables got created, then values got added. And then it's saying select this and see we are getting concat option over here. A plus a minus B plus B minus 
AB positive, AB negative, O plus and O minus. So we are getting what a cross join over here, a Cartesian product with a single table that, okay, with a single column, we are getting it concat this one, right guys? So like this also, you can simple use it like that. If you really want that, okay, as, and then, uh, so let's say I simple, right? This is represented like this, that uh, blood uh, group as an allies, I can use it. So it means, see, right now it's showing you like this, the column is concat x dot group name comma y dot rh value. It looks a little different, right? So if you really want to uh, give a name, you can use as over here like this and then blood group. As capital or small, that doesn't matter. This is just a new allies that we have created, which is representing this entire column. And when you run it again, so now next time, see when I run it again, I just need to hit the select query because these two guys create a values already inserted. So let me just cut it from here and then run it again. So when you run it, the, the column name got changed now, it's saying blood group. These are the blood groups that we have available. Simple, very, very simple example. You can use it over here like that. Fine. And same thing, you can see that guys that RH and blood group, they both table, both the tables got added over here. I'll take one more example. So you can, this is your uh, assignment. You have to take the right, the cross join for meals and drinks. You can create the combination like that. Create two tables, three rows, create drinks table, three rows. Other than that, what exactly I can do is that, let's say you're working with any e-commerce application, let's say Mintra, or let's say Amazon, or uh, any e-commerce application, there we uh, sell different, uh, you know, apparels or maybe uh, uh, different t-shirts or something like that, right? So what exactly I want? I want one size as a table. So this is my size table, and this is my color table. So I have different size of my, uh, for the t-shirts. Uh, for example, let's see small and I have only three colors, red, uh, blue and simple. I want that uh, for small, three colors are available like that. So I can create a Cartesian product over here as well, like this, right? So how to do this? So let's take an, a simple example with this also. So I have already written a query for that. So I simple see this first you create size and color table and the column name is size number and for color name is the uh, column name for the color table and both are having text i'm entering the value small medium large excel and double excel okay quickly you can create the table insert the values color red blue and black let's see we have later on you want to add some more colors you can add it and i simply write concat x dot size number so x is representing size and y is representing color table you can directly write size dot size number and color dot color number but these are the big table names so better you write some create some allies and then use the aliases over here like that i'm using cross join keyword this keyword will help me first what i want select concat uh, entire uh, size number and color name with a single column and from the size table and then this do a cartesian product or cross join on color and then let's see what is the output that we are getting it. So here five rows inserted over here, three rows inserted over here. And let's see the final product that we are getting that for small size, you have three options for medium. Again, you have three options, red, blue, and black for L XL and double XL. Also, you have all the options like that, right? Again, go back to the show query. You can do like this as well. There is one more method guys, concat underscore ws method and then you can give that okay see right now what exactly the output is coming they both are concatenated like that s and there is no space if you really want to concatenate on the basis of some uh, let's see underscore or something you can do that so what will happen between these two uh, values uh, this hyphen will be concatenated so see when you run it oops let me just remove it because we have already inserted and the created the table now just hit the select query and click on go now you can see that S hyphen red, blue and like that. So hyphen is coming like this. Okay, back to show query. Now, if you really want to write without any concat, I can simply remove this and two columns also, I can write it like this. It means X dot size number, Y dot, and then again, you click on go. So now you will be getting size number and the color. So for small, we have three colors are available for medium, again, three colors like that. Perfect. So like this, you can simple hit it okay the queries like that with the cross join 
So remember cross join is always a Cartesian product. It will exactly match each and every element or each and every row of the first table and with the all the elements of the second table. This is called Cartesian or cross join over here. I hope it's clear now. So that's all for this particular video guys. And please take this particular assignment that is a food menu. You have to create this one and write the query in the comment section. Okay. Thank you so much guys. If you have uh, <clears throat> any other question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching this video. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then take care and God bless you all.